Hey everybody, Jeremy here. Tonight we're going to be looking at the Unify Network Flex Mini Switch. This is a five port Unify switch. And we're going to unbox it, get it adopted into the controller and get it updated. We'll save configuration for another video. So let's get started. All right, on the back of this is just a cardboard box. But we'll get this open and in the box, we've got a very teeny tiny network switch. It is plastic. It's got some nice, uh, rubber uh, like a loop on the bottom there is a very miniature quick start guide and we have a power adapter usb type c all right so we'll go ahead and get the rubber band taken off this We will plug in the USB and got a handy dandy network cable right here. We'll plug this into one of my other switches. That is an unused cable. Okay, so we'll plug it into the switch over here and we will apply some power just like that. It does have a light on the front of it. So we'll see if this shows up in our dashboard here. And we'll give it a minute or a couple of minutes to finish its initialization process. And look at that. USW Flex Mini. Click to adopt, adopt device. And it's gonna go ahead and get it adopted into our Unify controller. So we've got an IP address, we've got the Mac address, that's all good. It is showing as up to date and hopefully the uh, configuration that exists on the other switch will be pushed over to it. And, and we will be able to take a look at the options with this particular device. Now my intent for this device, and I do believe it supports it, uh, is to be able to have some finer control over uh, VLANs. My home network expands to other rooms in my apartment so it's important if i want to do vlans that i have managed switches in uh appropriate places so that i can make the best use of it okay so we've got our unify switch flex mini here uh memory usage is at 78.8 percent uplink Wire, uh, wired is gigabit ethernet on port one. All right. We're not using power over ethernet on this currently. Um, I don't have any devices plugged in, so downlinks won't show. And so we can look at ports again. That's the one connected at one gigabit. Um, and two through five are unconnected currently. So we're just going to call this flex one. Um, LEDs are enabled. Network is DHCP, that's just fine. Service, uh, services, so test LAN or main LAN, that's fine for the moment. And uh, 
Okay, locating. If we do that, it has the blue flashing light. Uh, stop locating. And it goes back to solid. We can restart. We can provision. Uh, download info, which will allow you to save a file with the configuration. There's debug. And we are really uh, where we want to be. This is just going to push out the new name. If everything works on this, then I will likely um, get a few more of these over the coming months. Uh, I do want to spread them out a bit in the apartment and... Um, Hopefully this will give me some additional flexibility. Uh, if I had a place where I could consolidate all my network equipment into one room, that would be wonderful. Uh, but the apartment is just not set up to do that in a reasonable fashion. So, that gets us to a good spot. Um... I still am unsure why this is showing that my primary internet service is down. Um, this has been several updates now from Unify that um, this has continued to happen on. All right, well, that will bring us to the end of another video. We are 10 or 11 subscribers away from hitting our goal of 4,000. Uh, I wanted to make sure I hit this before the end of the month, if possible. Uh, it looks like we will be in good shape to do so. So once again, thank you all for your continued support. Uh, it's very much appreciated. Uh, the affiliate links in the description will not change your price on anything, but a few cents will come back to the channel, uh, which is also appreciated. And on that note, I want to say thank you one more time, happy computing, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.